all right crew welcome to the channel welcome back if you're a subscriber um i'm just gonna do a voiceover on this segment the rest of it will be regular i'm just kicking around the idea of building a bucket dredge that i can take that's portable light battery operated um, after i shovel down to the bedrock areas in certain creeks that i work um, instead of using that hand pump i wanted something that moves a little more material where I could pick up and really clean out the bottoms of these bedrock areas and the cracks and crevices. And that was my idea for the bucket dredge. I got the idea. Um, I saw a couple videos, but nothing ever of how it's built or anything like that. Just more of in use. But yeah, enjoy the video, guys. If you like it, thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't, um, leave some comments. I'm just kicking around ideas here. And I'm just kind of winging it as I'm building this, just kind of in my head. But, uh, yeah, we'll get through it. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Didn't even need to shim it up. I just put a piece of hose clamp on there. It seems to be pretty snug. Alright, so what I did, got the pump in. This is 1100 gallon, same pump that I use in the high banker. Um, Really good pump and 1100 gallons. And what I'm gonna do now is I bought a pigtail, right? That has the connectors, the same connectors that's used in the control box. I'll bring that to you here. See, here's the control box for the Gold Fox, right? It's got the 20 volt battery dial on and off button. That's the pigtail to it, right? That's the part to plug into the pump to run the high banker. Well, I bought one of these so I can have the connector to connect this into this. My plan is, is to have this on top of that lid, be able to turn it on and off, and also to adjust how much power we're getting as far as the pumps are. I need to get suction. That's the plan in theory anyway. And then I can just pull that off, unplug it from the bucket dredge, and plug it into the high banker. Still using the same, basically the same operating system, the same control box, same battery system, same everything. I put some epoxy in here. I'll probably put a little more around here. This lid has to completely seal on the bucket, completely. I may drop something down longer here. And this is the intake. And then the pump will be mounted here. And I'm going to drill a hole through here. Run the wires through and then seal that off so that way when this thing starts pumping water out and pumping water in it'll get suction and this will all suck down like that but that's the plan anyway but yeah let me get to drilling and get to wiring and we'll get it put together Probably should have used the longer strip Get equal parts in there. Try to get equal parts in there. There it goes. We mix up quite a bit. 
I don't really want to slather this on the, some different parts. I'm just going to take that. Lap it right on around there. All right, so outlet tube. Just back around like that. So I'm thinking of mounting that on there. So it's just below the pump line. So as the material fills up, once it hits here, that's it. So even if you're only getting half a bucket or three quarters of a bucket, it doesn't matter. One, it's less weight. And two, you're not hand pumping. So I'll just put a little around here. All right, so the thought and theory behind this whole apparatus is you can have different buckets, multiple buckets, and all you have to do with this system, since it's all contained in the bottom like that, right, is just be able to set that on a bucket, lock it down, plug it in, fill the bucket, you know, to where you can fill it the most. This is probably going to fill to about maybe half a bucket or so. Half a bucket of fine material right off the bedrock and into cracks and crevices. Take the lid off. You can just dump that, dump what's in here into another bucket to fill that. Or just take the lid off, put it on another bucket, and go to work with that. So you'll be able to swap the bucket around. The key is, is getting all this sealed, airtight sealed. I'm not going to do anything with this wire. This is just going to stay stock standard with my control box. If you don't have a control box... Uh, you could just get a battery in the battery piece that the battery goes into from Amazon and rig it up that way into a box of your own. Um, you could just take alligator clips to a battery, I'm assuming. But yeah, I'm going to leave all this wiring alone that comes with the box because I need the links for when I'm running the high banker, but I don't need all of this wiring. So. Don't have to worry about hose clamping this since this is suction. That's pretty tight. That'll give us our hose. Now, could use just a hose to suck up off the bottom. I wouldn't mind making some kind of little nozzle or something for it. You don't have to, but a person could. Let's go there. Nozzle. Be able to just, then if this gets plugged, just take a screwdriver, unplug it. The inside of this tubing, the reason why I like this, this is a, what I'm using, I'll get a short piece and show you. What I'm using is like water fountain tube and the inside is not as ribbed as the outside. I know some people use bilge pump hose, but all that ribbing acts like a sluice box inside the hose. And I want as smooth as flow as possible for material. So the inside of this, it's still bumpy, but no, nowhere near what the outside of this is. So you get a better flow with it. That's why I'm using it. Yeah, we got suction guys. We're running. I got some material in this bucket. rocks in there and this is not even full power all right so I got my whole cons bucket right here this is all just the cons the whole bottom of this little catch bucket is completely clean that was full full of uh, material or not not full but the bottom of full material I could suck the bottom of this I want to see how hard it'll pull see if it'll pull any of this and that's heavy it's heavy duty it needs to be in the water but let's see oh 
Oh, it's just eating right through it. And I'm not even, this thing could, I could crank this in the creek like wide open and wide open. poo and see what we got most of that material i was forcing it super hard but i just want to show you i mean i sucked down <laughs> pretty substantial amount of material now i'm using a heavy duty lid on this you want it you don't want to use a flimsy lid you want something heavy i mean this is a really good commercial quality lid Quite a bit of material on that, but I know it's hard to see. Let me get you guys in the light. That's quite a bit of material it sucked up, and you can see the rocks and everything else. Yeah. There it is, guys. The bucket dredge. I mean, pulling material, getting into small streams and creeks. Being able to suck up all that material and fill buckets up with material and then run that through a sluice or run that run the material through the little high banker and just be able to swap out the power unit, swap it around. Um, I have this elbow, but this elbow is not mounted, so I can just pull it off. Purge the water. So you fill, once you fill the bucket up as much as you can, you throw water in here to purge out the hose, keep this in the water. So that way you don't have any air pockets in there. And I just use this, just kind of kick it out. Turn it on, suck up material right off the bedrock, right off the cracks, a little bucket dredge. Um, super simple to make, you can get creative if you want to. Um, like I said, I'm using a heavy duty lid, but uh, yeah, don't use anything flimsy, take your time. And yeah, it'll be solid. I'm gonna rewire it. I'm gonna pull all this off and rewire all this. Redo all this. I'm actually going to solder these on and then shrink tube them just so it's a more solid connection. But yeah, worked out slick. I mean, I can't complain at all about it. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. So I'm looking forward to getting this unit out there. But my next goal after this is I want to build what's called a power log and utilize a 12 volt pump and I'll build a power log same size as this but I'm gonna run it straight into the high banker and make a mini dredge I have a short about having the pontoons that I have so that's this is all phase one of that and playing around with 12 volt pump system the next phase is going to be building that power log and seeing if I can't shoot the material straight into the high banker with it floating on some small pontoons and still be light enough to carry around with all, all kind of bulk, bulky equipment. Make a micro dredge that way. But bucket dredge, anybody can make something like this. And, you know, it's better than pumping with the the hand dredge for sure. And, you, you know, like I have the Gold Fox, so I already have the system. A few parts and pieces and a little ingenuity and away you go, people. And when the bucket fills up with material, take the lid off, put it on a different bucket, fill that up. You know, you can just fill up buckets that way or just dump it out into another bucket and keep going. But uh, I'll definitely have a video of this in action down at the Creekside for sure. We'll see what we do. But anyway, I appreciate you guys just checking out this little how-to video. Um, full success, no complaints. And uh, we'll catch you guys later.